Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Went fairly at cards, so you stooped the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. Ooh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. Thick-headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. 
She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Wait! Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Please excuse. Wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. Not these two again. Must have tailed them from the estate. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, sir! What are you doing there? Uh, running! Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Oh, oh. There. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. 
Arno. Le chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Stop! Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? Oh, don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who's in there? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Too much of the King's Champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre! Monsieur de la Serre! Sivert, come away! Guards! Help! Murder! Mon Dieu, he's killed Lord de la Serre. No, it, it wasn't me. Tell me I wielded the knife. Please, have mercy. Galia est omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us! Oh, God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can.
Well struck, piss bud. Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? Bees here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. Remember what? 76, 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Hmm? Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow my lead. Right, let's get out of this show. You there! Oh. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Pisspot? It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up here! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! If you can pluck your head out of your own arse, come find us! You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Please? That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? 
My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that...? A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know, Pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. this supposed to me I suppose a simple address would be too mundane Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? The sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. So. The son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. In the Nubahu Tukilu Kailai. Hal anta muda akidon min? Anna kadalek. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muhakama. Seikunu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink.
These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, the sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Aftergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. These imbeciles will pick a fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them, doesn't matter. There's always more fanags. Can't save everyone, Pisspop. Well, there's a cheery thought. <laughs> 